All right, guys, it's time for the D.A.R.E. Group Recap. And today we talked about living the story that God has for you and that God has a story for us all to live that's bigger than ourselves. And there's a few things that uh, God needs, but one of the things God needs from us is our yes. So the question we ask is, does God have your yes? Because our yes, every single one of us has a yes in areas of our lives. And the question is not do we have one, but what is it going to? Who is it going to? What purpose is it going to? God needs our yes. We also talked about how if we have given God our yes and we still feel stuck, what are we to do? God guides as we move. Sometimes we we just have to start taking steps. We just have to start moving forward. And others of us still, maybe God has given us specific things that we've left undone. And for some of us, there's a tension here because we want to just take steps and just move forward in some way, but we want to ignore the things that God has said to us. And if that's you, the hardest thing is not to act, but to act only on what God has asked you to do. So some of us, we just need to get moving. Others of us, we need to move on what God has already asked us to do. And this is hard because we sometimes don't see the provision that's needed for us to take the steps. And so we hold back. And th then we also talked about this, how God's provision usually comes after faith steps first. And we got to get our act in the right place. We believe what God has said. Then we act, and as we act, then God provides. And when we can do it that way, rather than trying to make something happen or trying to, you know, if I could just get the resources I need, then I'll act. No, we have to act out of faith. Walking by faith means that our actions start lining up with our believing, regardless of our circumstances. And still, others of us, we have big faith. We believe that God can provide, but we don't feel qualified. And that's where we talked about how God doesn't that God doesn't call the equip, God equips the call. And many times it's as we take those steps that God brings the equip and he brings the connection, he brings the relationship. So are there areas of your life that you feel like, you might talk about this, are there areas of your life that you need to take some steps forward? Have you gotten comfortable in certain areas and God is calling you to take some steps? Do you struggle taking these steps? What does it look like in the past when you have followed God? Because I believe God leads us to a thing that many times leads us to another thing. And we have to hold those with open hands. So have you struggled hearing God's voice? Have you struggled taking those steps? What is God speaking to you right now? When you pray that prayer, here I am, Lord, send, send me. Did God speak some things to you this week? Uh, because you weren't created for the sideline. God created you for the front line. Where's your front line? It's wherever God has called you to be. The Great Commission is for every person and your front line is important. So that's the D.A.R.E. Group message recap. Talk about it.